Hi, my name is Kelly Alexander, and I'm the program director at the Sanctuary at Sedona. And I've also lived at the sanctuary for the last 15 years. And I really wanted to share something um, very important and near and dear to my heart. And that is actually the heart of the sanctuary. There's so many videos on our website that really share with you how we are a different center, that we offer something very special that other centers don't. However, there's one thing that we don't talk about on any other video that I really want you to know. And that is how this is a purpose-driven, heart-centered center, that the people that live and work here, and there's myself, Dean, the founder, who has lived here for 20 years, and at the moment we actually have eight other staff who live and work at the sanctuary, and that doesn't even include the 40 practitioners that come in daily to help support this amazing place. But what does that mean? I know that when the sanctuary was being um, created, it was very important that we created a different model not just a different model in holistic integrative health and addiction trauma recovery, but that we created a different model for healing, for community, for purpose, for ethics, that we wanted something to um, give back to the world and to model what healthy recovered lifestyles look like. So rather than just having a center where clients would meet with a practitioner, for a session, practitioners would then go back home, as in most treatment centers. Here, our primary practitioners are now going to dinner with them, eating breakfast with them. Um, I think between Dean and I, we have ate, eaten dinner with oh, thousands and thousands of people every night. And dinner isn't just eating dinner, it is sharing. Gratitude shares, our strengths, what inspired us for the day. So we get to have these very intimate moments. Um, what else is it like to live and work here? It means that most mornings, one of us is out putting out the breakfast. Um, there's not one after dinner experience that we're not in the kitchen cleaning up the dishes. It means that clients have access for us, not just in those session times, but all the in-between times. This makes for a very intimate, very, very beautiful exchange of, of real sustainable change and healing rather than these moments of connection that can often be so fleeting and can feel almost insincere and not very deep. It's very important also that you all know that the sanctuary is not a corporate driven place, that we are family owned, that we have actually put the sanctuary succession into trust. You know, we're growing the young people to come and take over when it is their time. That is because this is our dharma. Um, we're not doing this for profit. In fact, every single profit that's made at the sanctuary goes directly back into the sanctuary, whether that is creating the IV drip room or new buildings or staff housing or the new kitchen that's in, in, in eventual planning. We are constantly taking what, we, what we're making and bringing it back out into our community. There's not one person that works for the sanctuary, lives at the sanctuary, is part of us that isn't deeply driven to creating a better earth, to creating a greater, better place to be living. Um, we're in tumultuous times, and we have found that the best way to do that is one person at a time. So we have 12 people that come and live with us for 30, 40, 45, 60 days sometimes, and those are those moments that we are helping people wake up to themselves, wake up to hope, so that they too can go out and find what their purpose, their passion, and how they can be best service to themselves, their families, and to this world. So the sanctuary is a very different, beautiful, special place. And when people leave here, they feel like it is the first time that they actually felt safe, that they found what it's like to be authentic, to speak their truth, to be seen and heard, and to feel what it's like to be part of an actual functional, healthy environment, family, community. And I can tell you for myself personally, it's one of the most fulfilling, beautiful experiences that I could possibly have, share, or be part of.